So if you back all the way up to the beginning in Genesis, what you have is God creating. And ultimately, we find in the creation account that he's creating um, with, with a view to a relationship with people. Um, the, the, of course, the whole creation is there for God, for his glory, but it's to be enjoyed by people. And so there's a there's a very there's a relational component, isn't there? At the in the beginning of the, of the word of God, in the beginning of human history, God walked with Adam in the garden. They were friends. They enjoyed each other's company. And then you read about the broken, uh, the, the the brokenness that entered into that relationship. Um, Adam and Eve sin and separate, uh, you know, sort of experience a separation from God. Have this new terrifying sense of alienation instead of wanting to walk with god and listen to his voice they hide from god they're terrified by his voice and at that point already even before god issues the promise um, of a deliverer in genesis 3 15 and following you're starting to ask questions if you're reading the bible especially if you're reading the bible for the first time you're asking questions like how is this all going to get fixed right how is God's creation, um, is, is it always going to be ruined? Has God made something that is going to be permanently defective? Is this, is this relationship always going to be broken? Are people always going to be scared of God? Um, will they always want to hide from God? And so eschatology is, is already sort of introducing questions in the, in the very beginning of the Bible, in the very beginning of redemptive history. And so I think it's very important for us to recognize that, that this is why we can't escape eschatology, because we're asking the question, what is this all for? Where is, how is it all going to end up? And you really don't, you don't get those answers um, until you come to the end of the Bible and you see this picture that the Apostle John is able to paint for us in his, um, uh, by inspiration with the, of the Spirit, of, of the restoration. Um, God has once again made his dwelling with people, and it's beautiful. And sin is now outside. It, is, it has been driven out. Uh, Christ is at the center of this, of this new, you, you know, heavens and earth, and this new uh, place for, for God's people to dwell, uh, uh, this place of where righteousness dwells, the Bible tells us. And so, so eschatology, you know, it's not like you can put it off until, you, until the very mm -hmm. last things that you study. Uh, because the questions that it answers are introduced very early in, in Christian theology and redemptive history as well. Yeah. Well, I love uh, pointing that out on how the Bible ends, at least in the book of Genesis, and how John describes that future for us so that uh, we strive for it. But one of the things I find most striking in Revelation, there's a lot, but also the imagery that he uses there is the same, the exact same imagery that we see in the Garden of Eden about the tree of life. And, you know, Christ will grant to the one who overcomes or the overcomer to eat, fagain, of the tree of life. And so that symbol of blessed, you know, communion, perhaps even heightened eschatological communion with the Lord, which was present in the garden, now uh, is granted to us and given to us in Jesus Christ. You know, so at least following after Voss, as, as, as uh, I do myself, and with the thing that we love here on this program, is that God offered that, that heightened life to Adam, even before he sinned. I and mean, now he fell into sin, but the offer still stands, but now it comes through our Savior Jesus, and he achieves and accomplishes it for us. And it ties it all together. So we see that eschatology isn't some uh, arbitrary decision that we make at the end of our theological studies, but rather something that is suffused even to the begin to the beginning, such that even eschatology, as uh, Voss says, precedes soteriology, meaning there's an end goal even prior to the consideration of man having fallen into sin. What mm -hmm. what a glorious mm -hmm. truth that is that we have from Christ. Yeah. Amen.